Hi folks, Dr. McKinnon here. Um, I wanted to show you guys a little bit about editing and digitizing in ArcGIS Pro. Um, so say you have a map like this um, with some features that it, you want to digitize to, to create a new data layer um, showing features that existed in this county um, when the map was created, which I think is late mid to late 1800s. Um, before you can create points, lines, and polygons on the map by tracing, you need a blank data layer um, to, with, to put those um, points, lines, or polygons in. Okay, so um, you are going to have to open up the um, catalog pane and go under databases to find the database for your project. My project's just named My Project 5. Um, and then you right click on it to um, create a new feature class. Um, now, which kinds of feature classes we create kind of depends on what we're trying to digitize here, but let's just say we need to create a new feature class. Um, Let's say we're going to put in um, water, water bodies. Um, nah, let's call it streams, okay, just to be on the safe side. Um, remember that names in ArcGIS should not have any um, spaces or strange ca characters. Um, if you do want something to have a space in it, you can make the alias have a space. So I'm going to make this streams and rivers as my alias. Um, and since it's streams and rivers, I'm going to make it a line layer. So this is very important. When you're making a new layer, you need to choose what type of feature class it is. Um, you can't change this later. You'll have to remake the layer. So we want a line layer. Um, we're going to leave these geometric properties the way they are. Go to next. Um, now we might want to put in here some characteristic of the object. This is um, the, the columns that will be in your new attribute table for your new layer. You can add these later, but let's just say I'm going to put in name as a text field so that we can put the names of the rivers. Um, and we probably don't want the names to be 255 characters long, so we're going to make them, say, mm, 20 characters long. Hopefully there's not any river names longer than that. Go to next. Um, you can choose which uh, spatial reference system. You usually want one that's specific to an area, but um, in this case we're georeferencing um, into a map that's going to be a web map, so we'll leave that the way it is. Um, we don't necessarily need to change the tolerances right now. Um, these are much lower than a meter, so that's great. And so I'm going to click finish and it'll take a second, but it should pop up a new blank feature class in my geo database. So here it is over here on the right hand side, it says streams. Um, if I want to start using this new blank class to um, be in my map, I need to d click and drag it over to my table of contents. I want to close the catalog pane. So now I have streams and rivers my table of contents. Now let's say I want to start digitizing streams and rivers. Okay, so I click on the editing tab and then I click create. And over here on the right hand side, there uh, templates pop up. So here's one that says streams and rivers line tool. Um, when I click on that, it gives me some different options for how to draw a line. Um, you can experiment with these different tools. There's also additional tools down here. Um, but I'm just going to use this little straight line tool to start creating these streams. So I'm going to click once where I want to start the stream and then click again where I want the line to continue. Click, 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 
click, click. And I double clicked to finish the line. Um, now I'm going to show you one other thing. So there's a lot of these tools you can experiment with. You can also right click um, and you'll get a context menu that allows you to do a whole bunch of things. Um, but in the editing toolbar, I also want to show you, um, this is very important. You probably want to turn on snapping, okay? Um, especially if you're digitizing something like a stream or a river, because you can see the line that I just created, there's another stream that comes down um, from another area, and I want those two streams to actually touch and overlap so that they, they are actually connected. I don't want them to just pass in the night, right? Because in real life, those two streams are connected. So in the editing toolbar, you want to make sure that snapping is turned on and you can choose what type of snapping to turn on. Um, but for streams and rivers, you definitely want um, endpoint snapping and probably vertex and edge snapping, but um, definitely endpoint snapping. And so now um, when I go to, to start another stream here, if I mouse right over the edge of the end of this one line I created, I can see it, it the symbol changes and it says streams and rivers endpoint. So that means I've gotten my mouse close enough to the other line that the computer thinks, okay, these two lines should now um, be touching. Okay, so I'm going to start here and trace this other stream here. Okay, so now I have two different streams here. Um, I can do the third one here down. Okay, um, so you can also um, say you have pieces of one stream um, and these should all be maybe named the same thing. So um, what you can do, I, I want to show you how when you open the attribute table currently, um, let me scooch this down a little bit. Um, each of these lines is a separate object in my attribute table currently, but let's say they are all part of one stream um, and I would like to make them all um, one stream. So what I would do is um, get these in the view um, and I would click and drag around them to select them all. So they're all highlighted in blue. Then going back to the editing uh, tab, I can click merge and it will change from there being three different things to one object, one whole line here. Okay, um, so now we have one line. Um, I can click off of it or I can click back on and it's all one object. Um, you can also type into the attribute table the name of this thing. I'm going to say unnamed stream because I don't know what this one is called and then it will save that in the attribute table. Um, I'm going to close this. You can also do it where, um, let's see, you can also Na oh, so over here is some another piece of stream here, which clearly says, hey, river over here on the right. So say that you want to start digitizing um, the hey, river. You can enter it in over here. Um, so under the complete, uh, under the template, you press this little um, blue arrow and it opens up the attributes and I say okay so I want to digitize the Hay River so then the characteristic um, that is going to go into the name table 
for the next uh, line that I draw is Hay River. Um, and so then when I start drawing Hay River, um, which looks very curvy at the moment, um, you can see that right now the new line that it created is automatically named Hay River. Um, so what I would recommend is if you're digitizing something, um, do a lot of practicing uh, with the various different tools, see which ones work well for you, merge, split, different kinds of line drawing tools, different kinds of polygon drawing tools, um, but that's the basics of how to do some editing in ArcGIS Pro. Okay, talk to you later, bye.